when I date women, I say, look, the dog, uh, they're going to get yeah. on the bed. They're going to get on the couch. Uh, they're going to sleep in the bed. The two little ones, they're going to mm. sleep in the bed. Um, I'm going to feed them table food. If you've got a problem with the dogs, let me know now. We can't, we can't do anything. I don't care how fine you are. I don't care how much money you make. Dogs ain't going nowhere. You, they live here. You visiting. Damn, unk. And you probably won't come back. Damn, you like that? So them dogs come before any woman that, that tries any your your kingdom. Any. Boy, any. You're tough, boy. But I ain't I'm tough. just saying that. That's that, that you. Hey, man, I can't really blame Shannon for this, man. It just depends on how serious you take your animals. Realistically, your animals are supposed to be like your kids. I mean, they can't really depend on themselves. You gotta feed them, you gotta bathe them, you gotta make sure they get the proper medical treatment. Uh, you gotta take them out to go use the bathroom. You gotta put them to sleep. You gotta wake up and take them back out. You gotta make sure they get nurtured. It's probably more of a job than it is, but actually dealing with a human at some point in time because the whole time while you with that dog, and we're only talking about dogs, but hell, all animals, the whole time you with them, man, they really, you know, you could train them, but they can't feed themselves unless you got like a hamster or got a feeder sitting around somewhere. The thing that makes me think that's kind of got me com conflicted is this. I've never been so much of an animal lover where I will put that animal over a human. But I don't know how I would react if it's a woman that's like the best woman I've ever had in my life that God sent me. Would I trade in my animal? Would I trade in my dogs for the best woman that God had to send to me? And if the animals were already there prior to, prior to her being there, would I do it? Well, I'll say this. Everybody has preferences when they date. This is why you need to know who you're dating. You need to know if you're with an animal lover. You need to know if you're with somebody who don't care about animals. Because all that could play a factor. I done been in a relationship where I had to get rid of a couple animals because the person did not do animals at all. And this was after I got with her. Then let's just say if I already had an animal before they got there, what would I do? I don't know, man, if you ain't it, I ain't getting rid of my dogs, man. I'm sorry, you got to go. You got to go. If you ain't it, if you ain't the one, you gonna leave, not them. Because some jump pop off, let me tell you something, man. If you got the right dog around you, especially dog, something can pop off and that dog will sit there and die with you. The dog be loyal, hell, animals be loyal more than humans. If anything, you can't really trust that. You can't trust the humans. But if it's the best woman a guy had to send me, what would I do? I pray to God that she's an animal lover, because if she ain't, I don't know about that one, man. That's, that's, that's horrible. That's horrible. Uh, I say it's for the best woman in the world a guy had to send me. I don't, I don't know, man. That's, that's. I would say I would throw them dogs out the door and won't look back. But in the same token, in all seriousness, you just don't know how people gonna turn out. Y'all can be cool for two years. Next thing you know, everything went down the, went down the drain. Next thing you know, you don't got rid of your damn dogs.